and welcome back to otaku no video as always thank you very much for joining me for the news of the week starting with news from gainax about new leiji matsumoto anime movies that they are working on so leiji matsumoto is a manga and anime creator going back to the 70s at least uh, who's responsible for Captain Harlock and uh, Galaxy Express 3-9s. Uh, he worked on Star Blazers, a.k.a. Space Battleship Yamato, lots of other seminal uh, anime works and manga works. And so Gainax has decided they are going to announce they're going to make these three movies based on Leiji Matsumoto characters. Uh, this is going to be the, the first one is going to be based on, uh, let's see here, uh, Emeraldus, Queen Emeraldus. Uh, and then there's going to be one based on Harlock, and one based on um, uh, Maytel. And uh, the thing is, we have a ways to wait, because the first one's coming out in 2020. Yeah, so that's three years before the first one comes out, and they're waiting three years for the next one, and three years for the one after that. So, you know, definitely taking their time with these. What's also interesting is that Yoshiyuki Satomoto, the character designer behind Evangelion, and the girl who left through time, and Wings of Honey Mise, and lots of other things, will be designing the characters for this. So you can imagine those incredibly long, leggy, you know, um, Matsumoto characters done in Satomoto's style. It's going to be fascinating to see how those, how that art style mixes up, but who knows. I'm um, definitely looking forward to seeing how that all works out. Uh, moving on uh, to kind of a sad news story, but important. Uh, Artland, the anime studio behind... Macross, Megazone 23, Legend of the Galactic Heroes, and Mushishi, among many others, has uh, ceased operations as of June 30th. They've already hired a lawyer to handle all of its affairs post-operation. Uh, they're at over two and a half million dollars in debt, apparently, as of that was as of December 2016, so a little while ago. Uh, it's very sad. Um, originally established by Noboru Ishiguro, who passed away recently. Um, and, uh, um, uh, he founded that in 1978, excuse me, it's, um, yeah, so it is going on there, um, they made Kotekyo Hitman Reborn as well, uh, they recently worked on Komori-san Komori Can't Decline, uh, currently working on Seven Mortal Sins, which is, uh, still ongoing, uh, but apparently they're going to just stop working on that, other folks are working on that too, so it's not going to end the, uh, the show. Very sad. Uh, their annual income was only about $2.2 million as of November 2013. Um, as of December 2016, their annual income was $184,000. That's not a lot. Um, basically, they're, um, they were just having a lot of costs, and uh, it didn't work out. So, very sad, um, and uh, it's just what happens. You know, studios come and studios go, and that's one of the ones that unfortunately has gone. More things coming, however, um, it, sort of a revival of sorts for Full Metal Panic. Um, I normally don't mention, you know, um, upcoming anime series, but the Full Metal Panic franchise has been around for quite a while now, and the upcoming uh, Full Metal Panic anime series, which was supposed to tell kind of the, um, the possibly the end of the Full Metal Panic storyline, uh, was announced and then kind of disappeared. No one, or no one talked about it, and it's its premiere date came and went, uh, and it's now been confirmed it will be coming in spring of 2018. So this may very well complete the Full Metal Panic franchise, in story mode at least. Uh, the light novel series has ended, as, as the writer has completed it, and the writer will be supervising the production of the anime series, um, as writer and series composer, obviously. So, uh, yes, fortunately Full Metal Panic will be finishing up, it'll be called Full Metal Panic Invisible Victory, interesting title, it will premiere in spring of 2018. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, Katsuichi Nakayama will be directing it. Uh, he has worked on a bunch of stuff um, over the years. Uh, gosh. Uh, mainly as an animator. I mean, everything from Evangelion to Gurren Lagann to Furry Curry, uh, a bit of Dragon Ball Z... Uh, Devil Hunter Yoko, some Digimon, it go, Berserk even, so he's done a lot of uh, animation work. Um, also was assistant director on Evangelion 3.0, uh, Bodacious Space Pirates the movie, 
Um, he also directed Planetarian, so I think it's in good hands there. Uh, being done at Zebek, interestingly, not um, Kyoto Animation, which did the previous two Full Metal Panic series. So, who knows? But uh, here's hoping that we'll move on and be good and useful. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, moving on to... How do I make that work? It doesn't want to work for me. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, some slight visual issues there. All right. Uh, moving on to some interesting news from Hulu, who will be streaming Erased and Charlotte dubbed into English, and they'll be the only ones providing the English dub for those series. Both of them have been available um, streaming and uh, otherwise in other places. Uh, Funimation, Crunchyroll, and Daisuke have streamed Erased, for example. Um, and uh, Charlotte's been on Crunchyroll and Hulu and Viewster and so forth. So apparently Hulu is getting into the exclusive dubbing, um, or the exclusive streaming of dubs business. They're not actually dubbing it, but they're apparently trying to get that business. And since Hulu has been kind of on the sidelines in terms of anime licensing and so forth, it's kind of interesting that they seem to be pushing it a little bit more than we might be used to. So that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, finally... Uh, interesting note on an upcoming anime series called Children of the Whales, which will be coming, um, let's see here, did they say when it's coming out? Uh, October, uh, for this anime series. Looks, looks very nice. Uh, what's particularly remarkable is that it will be streaming on Netflix worldwide. So Netflix has got the exclusive streaming rights to Children of the Whales, and, uh, that's cool. So they're, they're snapping up more stuff. This looks like it is a, uh, let's see here, um, sort of a, uh, an adventure story, typical sort of anime adventure story with some, um, possibly some romance aspects as well. So it uh, looks interesting, looks fun, and uh, more anime from Netflix. So interesting to see where that's going. This is also, of course, the week of Anime Expo, so there have been a lot of anime announced uh, for streaming on Crunchyroll and stuff upcoming. Um, which is nothing that's really, you know, left out in terms of story, uh, you know, is it, oh, is it remarkable that this one's streaming versus that one, right? So there's lots more anime coming to the various streaming services, which is always a good thing. Um, so uh, that is the news that I have found fit to put this week. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.